Now, the Kenya National Commission on Human Rights has condemned cases of police brutality during the recent anti-government protests called by the opposition. The commission says it observed torture unleashed by police officers on defenseless protesters as documented by the media. The commission has now called on the Independent Policing Oversight Authority, IPOA, to hasten investigations into the allegations of torture and ensure perpetrators face appropriate legal action. Ben Kirui reports. Such acts of police brutality and excessive use of force in dealing with protesters during recent anti-government protests have been termed a warring trend by human rights defenders. The National Commission on Human Rights, KNCHR, saying there has been a clear manifestation of violation of fundamental rights and freedoms in the way police have been engaging with protesters. The commission has received reports of torture and abuse, wanton beating of persons even after surrender, indiscriminate tear gassing of residences and schools, and there have been hand trending images on mainstream media and social media platforms, clearly showing the involvement of uniformed police officers in the wanton and brutal attack of defenseless members of the public. The commission said it will conduct a probe into the alleged torture incidences of degrading and inhumane treatment by security forces and called on the Independent Policing Oversight Authority, IPOA, to hasten investigations into the matter and bring perpetrators of such acts to book. The commission within its mandate in the Prevention of Torture Act shall initiate inquiries into the alleged instances of torture and issue reports and recommend effective measures for prevention and accountability. KNCHR castigated the invasion of people's homes by police with nest in Kisumu on Friday last week. Breaking into homes as was seen in Kisumu and other places and affecting improper arrests while dispensing brutality and torture infringes upon the rights of citizens and violates their dignity and sanctity of their private spaces. KNCHR also expressed concerns about delays and denial of justice for those arrested during demonstrations including denial of bail at the point of arrest, the commission condemning the holding of arrested individuals for longer durations than provided for by the law, the commission alleging the arrest of minors who remain detained at the industrial area remand prison. It is unfortunate that children, despite their innocence, continue to face the brunt of the violence. Cases of arbitrary arrests and alleged torture against children have been reported with some children being held at the industrial area remand prison. This is unacceptable. The commission, while emphasizing on the importance of upholding human rights and dignity, demanded that the security agents be held accountable for their actions and strictly comply with the law, which expressly prohibits any form of torture. Ben Kirui, Citizen TV, Nairobi.